I need some money there. <laughs> I paid you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, my mind's fried right now. You're right. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> you got that tub of video games? Right up here. Right up here. You must have seen them. Did you see on my Facebook live? Or, or nah, still just the still post. Okay. I've been live twice this morning. I can't go live anymore. Uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't even know what I've got to see. I just want to step out from down there. Oh, crap. 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 Do you need dressers or anything? No, I'm good on those. $50 for antique dresser? That ain't bad. No, that's phenomenal. Like 40 bucks. I was asking 60 yesterday. for this. Get the lawnmowers, mm -hmm. uh, motorcycles, whatever. Not even those. I tell you, I was a collector. Bedrooms, I got old lamps, I got other things back there. You see something just ask. I got motorcycle helmets. Oh. 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 Oh.
great smoky melon. What is this one? Up, so I was like, ah. Yeah, they kept looking, looking, looking. <laughs> uh, I love all these. Okay. It works great. It's not plugged up, but I have a battery charge it. I love one of XP. Oh yeah. I like the XP better. XP like and ninety eight's the best. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he agrees on that. <laughs> but I mean Ace of Off Top, eighty bucks, I mean. I did that one time and I had to call my daughter to come and fix it. I, it does something. It crosses the sleep mode to the shutdown mode. It's like, man, mm. oh, my collectible matches I see you want. Daddy. All right, guys, so I want to go over what I picked up at that yard sale, um, both indoor and outdoor yard sale. Uh, the guy owned an antique table, and apparently he took it down, so this is all the stuff he had at it, which he had a really good stuff. I uh, ended up going through his whole house and probably could have found some more, but a lot of stuff he was really high on, like uh, that whole DS bundle, which rightfully so, he wanted 300 bucks for it. Um, he ended up giving it to me for 200 after a lot of negotiation and buying a lot of other stuff, but I think it was well worth it. Um, I should be able to double my money at least on that. So yeah, those ended up being like 50 some games there and a 3DS, which is in really good shape. A DSI below that and another just regular DS behind it in the case um, these right here 
none of these were really worth anything. All these are under five dollar games, and then uh, all these over here were over five dollars. Uh, best ones being, of course, your Mario's, Mario Kart, uh, Dead or Alive was decent. Zelda, Donkey Kong, Metal Gear uh, 3D was really good. It's like 20, 20, 30, 25 to 30, something like that. Uh, uh, this one right here was a surprise. Uh, Riviera, that was like a $30 game. But yeah, all in all, I uh, should be able to do really well on that. Um, also, we ended up getting uh, two Game Boy chargers back there and uh, a Super Nintendo controller. Um, that was all on that. Uh, of course, you got your cables and the case. Uh, it was a Super Game Boy. I paid uh, 275 for everything. Most of it was 200 on that. A lot of DS stuff, which were good on that. Uh, $75 for everything else. Uh, we got some vintage Ninja Turtle figures. And then, uh, of course, we got Skeletor back there. Uh, most of these sell around $10 a piece loose. So, should be able to do all right on those. Uh, we did get the big Ninja Turtle figure. Uh, again, probably fifteen twenty dollars for it. Um, what really surprised me was these uh, muscle men, and there's over a hundred some in here. So I think I could probably get a hundred bucks for that, and we're gonna at least try it. Maybe auction it off. Um, I also jumped in on some of the baseball craze right now of uh, sports cards, and we got some sealed packs here. Uh, 1988 Fleer here. And then we got some 1990 score here and it was all sealed inside of it as well uh it's a full box too and it's got the Bo, possibly a bo jackson rookie card in it that's why that one has a little more value um nothing too fancy that usually sounds around 35 to 40 dollars on ebay and that in the sale is about 15. Um, so nothing special there and then uh picked up a few loose games uh he wanted 100 bucks on a ps2 system that's just no not knowing that so i did find a couple ps2 games that were worth picking up because i figured he was going to charge me five dollars a piece so i was trying to get some of the best titles i could uh time crisis 3 goes for about 15 uh same with time crisis 2 about 15 bucks i'm probably bought these two together try to get 30 out of it um this was surprising to me i just picked it up off of a hunch uh final doom for playstation it's like a 50 dollar game uh so it's complete that's why well, that one's probably got the most value being complete really adds value to games uh 15 dollar game here is taking three and then uh we got a sealed copy of psp game uh resistance retribution um about 15 bucks sealed uh this is a really good one to look out for on psp uh grand theft auto by city stories it's about a 35 dollar game it's not bad there uh metal gear acid this is another really good one to look for um unfortunately it's the acid and inside it has a manual for it but once i looked at the game up close it's uh, metal acid 2 which is actually a little more valuable but that just means it's loose now because i don't have the case for it uh so i have to sell this case separately so that's the bummer part but the game's worth a little more so we'll take it and then uh we got metal gear solid peace walker and again that's uh, about a ten dollar game and i picked these up just for the heck of it see if they would sell um I always see other YouTubers picking up sealed copies of cassette tapes for old tape recorders, so why not pick it up, give it a try? Looks like these are selling for about 10 bucks for two, so I mean, not bad. But all in all, after adding everything up, especially with all the video games, I got a really good deal on all these video games. Um, I shouldn't have any problem making three to four hundred dollars off this lot once everything sells, and after that's after taxes and fees. Um, so yeah, no problem doubling our money there. We only spent 275 and I think we can make about 600 pretty easily. But yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.